Hi everyone. Are you ready for today's maths? Okay, let's look at those plates and those spots and see what we can see today. There they are. How many spots are on each plate and which is the odd one out? Mm, I can see a plate that's got fewer spots. Can you see? I can see this plate has got three spots. One, two, three. But the others have got more. How many have the other plates got on each of them? If you're not sure, pause the video now and count the spots. Okay, how did you do? Did you know that that was the odd one out? And did you count five spots on the other plates? I did. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, here's the next ones. Have a look at them and quickly decide which is the plate that's the odd one out. Okay, I heard somebody say that they know there's three on this plate. They didn't have to count. They just looked very quickly and knew there were three. One, two, three. They're right. How many's here? Good. Three again. One, two, three. How many's here? Oh, one, two, three, four. And how many's on the last plate? One, two, three. So we know, don't we, that that plate with four counters on is the odd one out. The others have three. Look, today we've got Teddy and we've got Fox. And they've both got a glass. Hmm, but what's the difference between the two glasses? Yes, one of them is full of juice and the other is empty. This one's empty. Fox has nothing in his glass, but Teddy's glass is full. Oh no, look, <gasps> he's knocked it over and now his glass isn't full anymore, it's empty. Now we've got giraffe, dinosaur and dragon. They've got a glass each and they've got a straw. We're going to fill up and give them all a drink. I wonder who's going to drink the most. Have a guess. Let's see. Giraffe drinks that much. He wasn't very thirsty. He drank a little bit. Dinosaur drinks... All of it. He was really thirsty. Now his glass is empty. Let's see dragon. Ooh, dragon drank nearly all of it, but there is a little bit of juice left at the bottom of his glass. Who's got the most juice? Yes, well done, giraffe's glass. It's not full, but it's nearly full. Who's got the least juice? Who's got less? Well done, dragon. Dragon's glass is nearly empty. He's just got a little bit more, hasn't he? He's got the most and dragon's got the least. That glass is full of juice. 
that glass is empty. That glass is nearly full. And that glass is nearly empty. Today, your job is to have a go in your house and fill up some containers, some cups. Make sure you ask a grown-up first because your grown-up might want you to use a different type of container. They might not want you to use a glass like that because glass can break, can't it? So make sure you check with your grown-up and I want you to fill up some cups with different amounts. I want you to see if you can fill your cup up to the top and then I want you to pour out a little bit into another cup and see if it fills the other cup that you're choosing. Maybe you can change your cup so you've got a different shaped cup. You've got a maybe a larger cup and maybe a cup that's that's smaller or wider. And what do you notice if your cup is tall and thin? Will all of that juice go into a cup that's shorter but maybe a bit wider? See if you can talk to your grown-up about whether your cup is full, empty, nearly full or nearly empty. Have fun. That's all for today. Bye.